Okay, this project is called PAL Foundation for Children and Widows. Uh, we started in 2009 with a group of orphans and their mothers who are widows. And then we legally registered it in 2012 with the Butaleja Local District Government. I applied to NSSF to help us to install six plastic water tanks for rainwater harvesting because lack of water is a major challenge in this area, both in the families and at school. So that we can install four plastic water tanks in the community and each plastic water tank will be used by 25 widows and each in that family they have around averagely 11 people in the family so that we can also install two plastic water tanks for rainwater harvesting at Butaleja Primary School so that at least the children can have both clean water at home and clean water at school. Pearl Foundation has uh, helped 150 orphans um, among which 75 go to school. They get scholastic items, books, pens and pencils every beginning of the term. And then we have also got 100 widows who have directly benefited out of Pearl Foundation. We gave each one of them a bicycle, a blanket. Uh, then we gave them agricultural hand sprayers. They share them amongst the widows. Uh, if uh, NSSF gives us the funding, approximately 2,100 people are going to benefit from this water. 100 families, each has uh, average 11 people, and the school has over 1,000 pupils. Yeah, but at least average we put at 1,000 from Butaleja Integrated. Most of the kids here study from Butaleja Integrated Primary School. And once we install the water tanks, even the girls will be able to use this water for washing. So that's when they are in their menstrual period, they don't have to go back home to wash. And actually, it has been one of the major challenges when children start to go into the menstrual period. There is no water, they cannot bathe, they keep coming home and they cannot go back to the school. So this water will be very, very, very good and it will reduce down on the number of illnesses which result from waterborne diseases like diarrhea, typhoid, skin rashes, which are common in this area.